Hi, welcome to Jeremy's Tech Channel, and today we're checking out Endeavor OS Apollo. So I'm excited to check out the new release for Endeavor OS. Now, it's weird in a sense because Endeavor OS is an arts based system and that's a rolling release situation, which means you're technically always on the latest release. But there are tools that they use, there are things that they have that help people get going on a live environment and through their install process that are new, that they've worked on, and some tools that you use daily within Endeavor OS. What I have pulled up here is the release post on their forums, and I just want to walk through. And today we're going to sit there and see, this is exciting for me because um, I installed Endeavor OS about two months ago with Neo, and now I get to see what changes have been made. We can walk through those changes and see if this is something that might be uh, up your alley. I really do like Endeavor OS. It has been a great experience for sure. We will look and see what the changes are in the install process, some of their tools. We will also take a look at a new window manager that they have available that was developed by someone in the community. Here we go, here are the new features that are a part of this version. They changed uh, some things in the Calamaris installer as far as the order of some things. Calamaris now lets users choose the desktop environment first before going to the package selection page to install other packages. They have Bluetooth enabled in the live environment. This is one of the things that I uh, had to work through and learn quickly why they choose not to uh, have Bluetooth enabled by default. They feel like it's a security concern for uh, some people. So what they've done is, is they have it enabled in the live environment if you are wanting to use Bluetooth. And then once you do the installation, after the install, Bluetooth is disabled by default. And if you need to enable it again, I can attest, it's super easy. Also, firewall, uh, firewall D is enabled and uh, some of these other apps that they have are updated. For instance, um, I have an NVIDIA graphics card and they have a new app that works with the NVIDIA driver installer. And it looks like they made some other little minor changes, which are great. The last piece of this announcement is this release is also shipping with a brand new window manager developed by our community additions team member Codec 12. This was developed to satisfy his name Codec 12 to have a lightweight window manager that worked well with both floating and tiling modes and had window decorations with minimize, maximize, and close buttons and any layout desired that could be run. Super cool. We're going to check out a new window manager. Now I've been using desktop environments for a bit. I have not just dug in yet with window managers, so this will be my first go. Let's see how many mistakes I make. So we've took an, taken a look at this. We will look at the live environment, what changes there are, some of those applications. We will go through the installation process, and then we will check out that new window manager. So here we have um, start the installer, which is your traditional installer that you've gone through. And like I said, they've changed where that process is. And then they have this install community additions. And they also have Bluetooth notes right here. This looks different uh, in a good way. This is pleasing, more pleasing to my eyes. This is XFCE. Let's go ahead and pull this up so you can see this. What do you see when you pull up the live environment here? You've got XFCE. You've got a great theme that they've got uh, going on. You've got kernel 5.17.1 Arch 1-1. Nothing you haven't seen with an XFCE desktop environment, but that is a great place to go. Love me some XFCE. Now, let's take a look and install this community edition. I wanna see this window manager. Here we go. Calamars installer, you know the deal. I am going to choose no swap and better FS. That is what I chose when I installed Endeavor S on my own system. And um, I'm just gonna walk through what I did. This virtual machine has 16 gigabytes of RAM and eight cores given to it. Now here are some of the community additions. You've got this BSPWM, OpenBox, Qtile, Sway, and Worm. That's the name of the new window manager and we're gonna check it out. This is where you can add some other pieces to your install, like adding the Zen kernel. You can add long-term support kernel if you're wanting that long-term support stability, printing support, 
support for HP printers, and then there's some accessibility tools here. Mouse tweaks is one that I recognize. And let's move on. You've seen this before. If you haven't and you're new to Linux, this is just a part of getting your system set up. And this is an overview of what you've chosen, and I'm gonna click Install. You've seen this install before. I've done it with Endeavor OS. And normally what I do on a new install, I will just speed up so you don't miss something if you're curious to see what that install process looks like. Um, if there's any changes, I will let you see it. But for now, I will just skip to the end. Now I selected the Zen kernel. So on the boot up, you can choose that kernel. I'm just gonna boot on the regular kernel for now. But you can see that that's easily acceptable in the way they have the grub menu set up. Here is our first introduction to the worm window manager. And here it is. I don't know how to navigate this. So I'm gonna figure it out like you guys would probably do poking around. I'll probably pull up the web page and also get some information. But right now I'm gonna start by right clicking. Nothing happens when you right click or left click. Here is a file manager. Oh, this is the Thunar file manager, which is what is used for XFCE. Thunar is cool. All right, there's your file manager. Here is your terminal. And let's quickly take a look and see what is being used with this window manager at its base. We have 254 megabytes being used at its idle state. So they have this text editor XED set here as a default on the panel. Firefox is set as a default as well. My understanding of window managers, this piece here, this little minimize situation, something that you don't get on many window managers. Okay. Keyboard, keyboard, help me keyboard. I need to know how to do this keyboard. EOS welcome is here. <laughs> All the joys of me learning something. <laughs> the window manager doesn't have anything running at the default at the beginning, which is totally understandable and totally fine. And I am going to take a quick look here at these pieces, which are normal for the welcome screen. I can change the display manager. I can change the display resolution. Right now that is set. And now I can go here and set and stay. There also is update mirrors, browse the arch and AUR. All of this looks very familiar. Uh, pieces here, and then there's that Bluetooth piece if you are looking for Bluetooth. Um, in fact, let me just do that for you so you can see this explanation of the Bluetooth piece. It is quite simple to get installed. Don't worry about it if you need Bluetooth. If not, you're like, thanks, I don't need that extra stuff. Thank you very much. All right, so an easy way to install Thunderbird would be for me to go sudo pacman dash s thunderbird and then i will install thunderbird and now thunderbird is installed that is the terminal way to install a program and if i want to run thunderbird i just get that going and it's going to load up and there is thunderbird and there is an account set up here and you would go through and run that piece. I am learning a lot working through this, learning how to use a window manager and me fluffing around. It's very lightweight. I am learning all these key bindings as I go. This is what I've learned using a window manager and I have nothing to compare the worm window manager with anything else. What I can do is just show you the basics real quick of how to navigate and get around, it looks promising to me uh, as something that is direct. If you're really about keyboard shortcuts, you're gonna really love this. What I've figured out so far is if I want to get a terminal open, I hit the super key and enter, there is my window. If I want a web browser, which is defaulted as Firefox, I hit Windows and W, 
and it brings up a web browser here. If I want to move this window from one workspace to the next, there are nine workspaces set up right here. You can see it on the bottom right hand side here. So what I can do to move it is I can hit Windows Shift and I wanna move it to the second one. Now it's on the second one. So all I have to do is hit Windows 2 and it's there, Windows 1. It's there, that is very cool and helpful. Also they have the super key and R and I have this little menu piece here that I can see and move and get what I need. If I need Thunderbar, Thunderbird, Thunderbird, there it is. I can grab it and pull it up. Also, if you're already here and you already have a terminal pulled up, you can also type Thunderbird and it's gonna pull up. The other pieces, you don't have up front a graphical installer per se. There is this piece here. There is this quick start installer, which you can go through and select what you want to install and rock and roll. That is there, but if you're using a window manager on an operating system that encourages you to use the terminal for its install pieces, probably not gonna use that. You've got this pulse audio volume control. This is a tabbed set system here. And being able to work, this is a floating tile manager. Um, I guess there is some functionality for tiling it, but at this moment, I am still just learning about Windows managers. So if you're interested in checking out Windows managers, there is, I know there's an uh, i3 version as well that Endeavor OS ships with. You also have your text editor, which is simple and forward and to the point. So you've got your Thunar file manager, which you are used to. If you use XFCE, I believe this is roll feed down at the bottom and I'm sure there's some configuration pieces that I will need to learn. You also have this power management piece here, log out, sleep, reboot, shut down. Am I a Windows manager person yet? Probably not. Why? because I have a lot to learn and there's nothing wrong with that and I don't need to feel bad about that. If you are into window managers, this could be the bee's knees. So what did we learn doing this? Um, the extra pieces for the install process was welcome. And I like that they will allow you in the live environment to install Bluetooth. The other piece that is great is they added some community edition installers um, which allows us to see this Worm Windows Manager. I don't think I am the best person to give you the full featured nature of what this Window Manager has to offer. But what I can tell you is just me working through it, messing with keyboard bindings and trying to understand that I can see how you could make everything happen and never lift your hand off the keyboard, which could be very attractive for people. There is the workspaces, there is the terminal, there is your um, overlaying menu piece there with ease. Installing through the terminal, I already do that in Endeavor, so that's cool and no big deal. My observation is that um, some of the more experienced Linux users somehow find their way to a Windows manager. And I was working through and learning how to add some uh, configuration pieces as far as key bindings, learning that, I can see how you could set up your whole keyboard, never lift your hand from the keyboard and love that. Window managers are very interesting to me and I need to learn more. Is there something, uh, some resource that I should be looking at to learn more about window managers? Um, I have watched a couple of videos, I have read some forum and I have gone to the GitHub page for Worm Window Manager trying to understand what's going on there. I've looked at some common commands and that's how I was able to find how to switch workspaces, how to open up a terminal, those kinds of things are there for you. But for me, I'm not ready yet. Do I think this is cool? Oh yeah, this is cool. If you're a Windows Manager person, you're gonna think this is cool. Endeavor OS team always is coming out with something that is useful. And I believe having this available for someone who likes window managers, that likes having that those tools that they have, uh, you're gonna be really uh, set quite well. Thanks for joining me today. See you next time.